Hey guys, what's happening? It is Tommy again with a continuation of a tutorial I was working on for uh, how to convert Native Instruments machine kits into MPC expansions. Because um, I got a ton of machine kits, but I'm mostly using the MPC right now to make beats, so I, I didn't want to lose all of those kits. Uh, I wanted them to show up into you know the MPC just like an expansion native to MPC, right? So. Uh, I found the first tutorial, you know, I'll put a link in the description below and you can check it out. Basically, it's using software called KitMaker that is phenomenal. Uh, it's really for this purpose. And uh, I use that to export the one of the kits, this one, Basement Era Kit, uh, from Native Instruments. So I've converted that into an MPC format, uh, which is the first step. Uh, and that's now got all the, you know, XPM files and everything for programs in, in machine or in uh, MPC, sorry. And the next step now is to actually make this into an expansion so it can show up in your expansions file, you know, in your, in your list of expansions over in MPC in your software or in your hardware, right? So uh, the next step after you've got this part is we actually have to make it into an expansion, right? So the way we do that is with the MPC expansion builder, which comes with the MPC software. It's a little tiny app. And uh, when you're installing the MPC software, that's one of the check boxes you could check in to actually pick that you want to install the expansion builder also. Um, now, basically, it, it's a really simple process. All you're going to do is, is put some info in here, drag an image in, and, and add the content folder. So we want to use this basement error library. I'm going to drop this over here. So now it's using that. Uh, this name separator is to, you know, in the actual naming of the files, you can have tagging Put into them um, so like for example this is, says base all on here if you want the base to show up um, you could put a separator between them and it would you know create you know what that that separator is to make them into tags the default is a hash to, is a is a dash mark and that's what uh, mpc uses for their stuff by default um and the way this exported them it doesn't actually put those dashes in so if you want these to show up all as base in their own tag you'd have to put a dash there so it would know um but yeah that's the what the separator means uh going from the top here this identifier is a little weird because it's using the dns format Reverse DNS, and this is arbitrary. It's a little confusing at first, but you're just naming stuff in a way that makes it separate from, you know, Akai or Native Instruments or whatever. So, you know, I'll just put, you know, Tommy dot uh, expansions dot, and then the name of it, Basement Era, right? And expansion title, is Basement Era. Manufacturer name is Native Instruments made this and version number uh, basically lets you pick you know what incarnation of this plugin or this expansion you're doing so if you end up doing updates to it you can update this version and theoretically it will only replace the parts if you update it that are different from the previous version I haven't really used this because I just spit them out you know as is and that's what I've done so I, I I just put this arbitrarily as, as my versioning and then if I make another version of it I can just increment it one increment it two and it's gonna know that uh, this is a, a, a newer version than what's currently installed and then the description is just just that so uh, MPC port of NI's basement era expansion right and then the image in this case is something that already existed so I already pulled it up here. I just did a Google image search, basement era NI, and it came up with artwork. So I'm just gonna save that to my desktop. All right, so I got that. Show it in the finder. I'm gonna drag this over in there. So now I got a picture. And that's there. So next step, I'm just gonna hit do it, and it's going to generate and it's, it's asking for sequence files. Uh, Kit Builder doesn't generate sequences, and that really doesn't matter too much to me. Uh, if it's something that is important to you, then you know when you're building your own expansion, if it's not a conversion and you want to worry about putting sequences in, go for it. But I don't care about that, so I'm just going to bypass this warning. And now it's asking me where I want to save it. And for me, just because it makes it easier, I, I put it right into the same folder, and I name it with whatever 
the expansion's name is. And for Mac, just to make sure the file shows up at the top, I precede it with an underscore. So I will just type base underscore basement error, and I hit save. And it's going to build it. Boom, so it's done. It successfully made the XPN file, which is the uh, expansion element. That's how you install them. And if we go back into that folder here, we can see that's where this basement era XPN file is. So I have a whole other video that I'll also put in the link, the link in the description below of how to actually drag and drop and install this. It's really easy also and how to get it into MPC, the software, and then out how to bounce it out from the software into your live or your X or your one or whatever you're using. Um, and one other thing worth noting, if you're making your own expansions, this was already built in uh, that we already had previews for this for you know it came with the the package itself but these previews folder here is wave files that are tests you know basically pre previews of what is in the kit which when you're going through your list here it, it's really convenient to know what it is your what, what it is you're looking at or else you got you know you have to manually go in and listen to each sample and that's not very workflow convenient so if you're building your own you're going to have to make your own previews by exporting from your your kit or whatever and the way that the previews work is whatever the name here add style dot xpm dot wave this 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 file name is directly associating with a program in here so this add style dot xpm is any, when, when you go to test this one out over here in your list on the, on the MPC, it's going to hunt for this same file, right? So the only difference is, is whatever this file name is, whatever it is, whether it's adstyle.expm or epxpm or uh, adstyle.drum.xpm, which is what some of the newer expansions do. They add in drum or key group or whatever. Um, that has to be the whole file name just with dot wave attached to the end of it so you have to make sure that dot xpm is also in this wave or else it just won't play any previews so anyway that's uh, basically the process for generating these expansions and converting them into a format that's that's viable for mpc that you can drop in um, and again that xpn file is your winner and go take a look at the other video on how to install it and move it over to your live and you have now successfully gone through and converted uh, ni kits into mpc kits and dropped them onto your mpc device so good luck man make those beats